Hi everyone, it's Stacy from MyCraftingTime.com. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas and a safe and happy New Year's. I know that we had a great time here. So I wanted to make a, another card for you. And what I'm doing today is a card that I'm entering for My Pink Stamper at www.MyPinkStamper.com. She has a design call for two additional uh, design team members and I wanted to create a card for that for that for an entry into that so what I'm doing is a card with this ladybug on it and she's on page 50 or I'm sorry she's on page 66 and I'll use my gypsy for this I really really love my gypsy I'm not really sure how I got along without it for so long. I um, got it mm, I think in October or maybe slightly before October. Let me get my gypsy and I'll show you what it looks like on there. Here's what it looks like on my gypsy and as you can see I have a template. It's just that little square right there that I use as my template so I know how big to make my character for the size card that I'm using and this is just a standard A2 size card and then uh, the size of my ladybug shadow is 2.58 on the width and 3.47 on the height and then I just kept everything else relative to that size and then I also took uh, the ladybug's face and I hid the eyes nose and mouth because I actually want to use a peach king stamp for that instead of the cut itself but everything else pretty much so stayed the same now I will uh, upload to my blog this uh, file so if any of you have a gypsy and you want to create the same um, the same cut you'll be able just to upload my cut file into your gypsy so let me get the paper ready for you okay so here are the pieces cut out and what I did was I took some Tim Holtz Distressor ink and this is the peeled paint because um, I'm an inker I like to ink everything up I call myself an inker um, so I inked the edges of that and then there's the brown piece and then I inked the edges of the pink face and wings also this time with Tim Holtz Distress and Ink Worn Lipstick so next what I wanted to do is I thought I'd glitter the wings and the heart. So I have some Martha Stewart glitter and uh, I'm going to go ahead and use the Xyron to get the sticker on the back of it. It will make it easier to do the glitter glue or to do the glitter. So these are how the wings will look when they're on and I need to adhere the glitter to the front of it so you actually have to flip them upside down when you put them in your Xyron. This is just the small Xyron. So I'll get these in here as best as I can. Sorry if I'm off camera a little bit. And then we just need to tug on the back of this until they all come out. And I'll just press on these pretty good just to make sure the glue is adhered to the back of it. And then I have my glitter tray. Just want to make sure you get glue, the glitter everywhere. It's going to look really pretty. And there's my heart. Okay, I'll get this glitter back in the jar and then I'll assemble the ladybug. All right, there's my girl all done. Isn't she oh so cute? And her wings are sparkly. Okay, so what I did for her, for her face, was my hubby got me these Peachy King stamps for Christmas. And I used this one right here. 
and it says it's the princess faces and these are the one and one eighth size so I went and stamped her with the black stays on ink and then I took a white jelly roll and I filled in her eyes a little bit with that and then I took a red jelly roll and filled in her lips and then um, I wanted to give her some rosy cheeks so I took the Tim Holtz pink distresser ink again and I have one of these uh, water pens to go with my um, color pencils but I often will use this as um, like a paintbrush with any one of the inks and I, and I use that to uh, give her some rosy cheeks and then I took the blue ink and this is the broken china and, and I made uh, some eyeshadow for her with that one and then I took the white gel pen again and I stitched her up, stitched all around her. So I think she turned out very, very cute. So next we're going to go ahead and assemble our card. So what I have is I have matching green cardstock. It's the same green that uh, I used for her shadow. I often like to use the same colors in the card. Um, I pull out some colors that's in my main character and then I'll use that as the base of the card or the mat or some border strips. But I'm going to use this as the main card stock and then I have um, some heart paper that we'll go ahead and glue down and then um, this is the other side of this but we're going to use the pink shiny side of this. So I have my ATG gun, and I'm going to go ahead and, um, since I was using some scraps, I just had a little piece of this, so I want to go ahead and glue that piece on first. So, I'll go ahead and put some glue on that. And I'll just line this up at the bottom. And I don't think I gave you the sizes for that. Let me get you the sizes real quick. The card itself is five and one eighth by four and one eighth. And this little pink strip was um, it was one inch by three and seven eighths and my heart paper itself was four and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So let's go ahead and get some adhesive on the back of this. I'm going to center this in our paper. So that looks pretty good. And then I want to pop dot her on, but before I do that, I want to go ahead... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? <laughs> I forgot to put the ribbon on the back of this, so let me pull this up a little bit. I have this brown ribbon. We all make mistakes. Forget to put the ribbon on. Again, I'm picking up some brown out of her and putting it in on the card. So, put a little bit of tape glue adhesive on that to hold it straight. And this is just going to hide the seam between the two and pull in that, that color in too. I'm just going to want to tuck this in behind here. Cheating now. There we go. Okay, I think I forgot to tell you where I got my designer paper from. Um, the Heart paper actually came from here, and this is a Colossum that um, I just picked up from the local craft store. 
and also this shiny pink paper was just a, an open stock paper that I got. It's a, re a collections that I got from Michaels. Um, this is just the back side of it. So next I want to put a, stamp, a sentiment on here and of course I'm going to use a My Pink Stamper stamp since this project is being done specifically for My Pink Stamper. And this is actually the Christmas Wishes set that I got recently. And what's so great about these stamps is even though this is a Christmas set, I'm actually able to pull out this Love and Happiness stamp and use it for um, a Valentine's Day or a Sweetie's Day card, which is what this is for. So, love these stamps. Um, don't think that if you just buy one for Christmas or Halloween, you're stuck with it for that season because you can use it for other seasons too. So here's my love and happiness and I'm just going to use some black stays on ink and I'm going to center this you don't have to push real hard actually stamps really really nice okay so next I'm going to want to pop dot my bitty bag so I just have some recollections 3d dots and we'll put a couple on her so we'll peel off the backing And I want to put her in on an angle. Just kind of like that. She's Okay, so I wanted to bling her up a little more. So I'm adding a, uh, a gem to her heart and then to each side of the word love and happiness. And I'm just going to use my eye rock to put those down with. I'll spare you um, from seeing me struggle to put these on the paper. Um, they wind up flipping over and then I have a hard time getting them flipped right back on the right side. So I have them in place. All I have to do is turn this on and wait for it to heat up. And then once it's good and hot, all I have to do is to be careful not to move the gem and put this down on it and press and you can actually feel it sink a little bit and that's when I know that it's actually in place. We'll do this one. Then this one. There you go. Super cute. So there is my submission for my pink stamper design challenge. I've used her favorite colors, which are green, pink, most of all she loves pink, and brown. And I've used my favorite cartridge, the Creator Critter. So I hope you like it. I know I really love it. And I hope to see you back again soon for another video. Stop by my blog at www.mycraftingtime.com to see more fun videos and other tutorials and other projects that I've done. I also have a Facebook page at uh, facebook.com slash mycraftingtime. I'd love for you to be a follower of both of them and also a follower of my YouTube channel. When I come out with new videos, you'll be notified. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. See ya.